Today we'll talk about the dynamic content feature at OneSignal, which allows editors to upload CSV files that contain dynamic information that can be shown to individual message recipients. Use cases for using dynamic content would be emails that are translated or localized in different languages, customized content based on user preference, or indeed customized content based on user's country or location. Today, I will show you an example in practice. We're going to look at an abandoned cart email that we want to be sending out. Here's a fictitious company called the Fat Squirrel, which sends out an abandoned cart email out. The dynamic content in this email will be free. The, the name of the product has been left behind, the price and the image. This information is now uploaded at the message level here using dynamic content. Here I've uploaded a CSV under the header of product catalog. Let's have a quick look. I've kept this very simple for the demonstration. For users who are purchasing or have added items to the cart, we're going to be looking up the product ID. That's the only data tag or information that will be passed and customized per user. This file now contains a lookup for each of the product IDs that contains the price, the name, and image as examples. What we'll do next is we're going to send the same email out to two different recipients to put this into practice. We have one recipient who has added a product identifier, let's make this a two, into the card. And we have a second recipient or user who will have the product ID A4 into the card. Now we're going to serve up dynamic content based on these identifiers. So A2 and A4. So we're going to expect an email that will show us a fancy sweater for one user and an email that shows us the Acorn Catapult shirt for the second user. We'll test the email out, send it to our recipients at the moment. So again, here's just a, again a quick preview of what the email would look like for the editors. But they've got the entire template sorted with the dynamic information called up in here. Now let's look at the examples. The first user, the email will now say that I've left behind a fancy sweater. We can see here the price and the image as well. The second user, we're now looking at the Acorn Catapult shirt. So this is the same email, but different content based on data that is available for each individual subscriber. We hope you find this video helpful and a fair introduction into dynamic content. Goodbye.